the the defense. Yeah, <laughs> real good day, real good day. Real game. We're getting real comfortable, so it's about to be a real heck of a season this year. Yeah, who do you think uh, did the best, or how do you think um, you guys did compared to your expectations? Um, I don't know, man. Our, our expectations were real, real high, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think we, we met them or we exceeded them, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, with Coach Gonzalez, we don't know what our expectations are. But I know that to the point where we got to get to the Rose Bowl. So whether it's against our offense or a different offense, I know that we're going to have an expectation every week. And I think that this week at Camp C, you know what I mean? I think that we're real, we're real satisfied with where we're at. I'm surprised you that Darius Butler interception just leaped up, made oh, yeah. that play. Oh yeah, man. Then we was talking about it last night because he's he's one of my uh, my roommates. Yeah. So we was just sitting there like, man, we need some picks, man. We need some picks. We we be getting all these PBUs and stuff. We need some picks, and you know, they'll get one, bro. And especially with the two minute, like to end the game, that's just just great, man. Great play. And how much are you guys starting to get kind of familiar with the quarterbacks? Is that helping you at all, or we can ruin that offense? Oh yeah, yeah. Especially with like Coach White and Coach Gonzalez, they're so detailed with everything. So. You know, every day we go into film and we literally break down every quarterback that, you know, Joey, Dylan, and uh, JD. So um, I think they're, they're all of them are really good quarterbacks. They all have their, their different uh, styles of play. And so uh, I think that we're starting to get familiar with them, but I think they're really starting to get familiar with us too. What kind of aspects of like your own game do you kind of break down or look at specifically when you're in the film room? Um, Honestly, man, like I know, I know I'm a real top notch athlete. Like I can do, I can play any position on the field. So me, it's just my mental. Like I'm trying to get, oh, you, you think I'm lying, huh, Jacob? Um, <laughs> but uh, like I said, man, I think I'm a really good athlete. So my whole thing is the mental part, trying to break down receivers, trying to get tendencies that they have, same with the quarterback. So I think that I'm doing a real good job with it now, especially because Coach uh, Herm and Coach Gonzalez and Coach White have just been getting on me this whole year. And Ashari was getting pretty hyped up after that first drive. You oh, know, yeah. he thought guys were pushing off of him. Then he made that play. Oh, that yeah. kind of get you guys energized. He's not always like that, you know? Yeah, especially, oh, no, we, we, we had a motto this year, you know what I mean? It's just mean, nasty football. And, uh, you know, I think Coach Gonzalez had a great point. You know, there's a real thin line between, you know, confidence and cockiness. So, you know, we're, we're just going out there with a whole bunch of confidence, a big chip on our shoulder, and we're just ready to play. And that's why I'm lo I love Ashari's energy and what he brings to the field because it, it, it wakes all of us up. How much does it help? You know, you've played with Kobe for years. You played with Ashari yeah. all of last year. Even Cam was in a couple games last year. How yeah. much does that help being returners, playing with returners? It's easy. It makes it makes the game so much slower because I know at the end of the day I can trust where he's going to be, and he knows at the end of the day he can trust me. So, you know, I think that the, the coming up here made everything a whole lot better too because of the fact that we're just brothers now, man. Like, it, we're all Sun Devils for life, and we love each other dearly, and we'll do anything for each other. So just having that comfortability and that, that brotherhood and that leadership and stuff like that just makes the game a whole lot easier. And just last question, I got to ask, you know, on the defensive end, which one of those receivers is giving you, like, the most problems or, like, surprise you the most? Oh, man, you know Brandon Ayuk, man. He He's a phenomenal athlete, phenomenal receiver. And, uh, you know, Frank Darby, bro, they just – they just two. The, I, in my opinion, having th two receivers like that can open up a lot of different things. They'll open up the run game, open up a whole lot of stuff. So, you know, I'm really, I'm really, really satisfied with what they brought to the table, especially during camp, because um, we haven't seen that type of look, different type of offense. And I just love the way they compete because we compete and they don't chirp at us. We don't chirp at them. We just sit down and ball, man. And that, that makes that makes the game a whole lot funner for us.